Hey guys, welcome back to We Watch a Movie. Mike here. What's up, guys? Jay was supposed to be here to, to do this review and other videos with me and Michael today, but uh, he did not show up because he drank too much last night when we went out and sang karaoke songs because he has a weak, weak vagina, whereas I have strong vagina. We did do white lines, by the way, though. No, we didn't do cocaine. We just sang the song about it, about how you shouldn't do cocaine. So don't do it. Oh, that was awesome. You should have fucking been here, man. That's my Mel Gibson. You should have fucking been here. That's not that bad. So the Spider-Man Homecoming trailer just came out, and it's, you know, fucking awesome. <laughs> I cannot believe how badass it was. The very last shot, I'm just gonna go right to it, the last shot when Spider-Man and Tony Stark are flying just around that corner. I don't know why, but I haven't felt that kitty since I fucking saw uh, the Avengers in the theater for the first time, when, you know, Cap and, and, and Hulk and everybody was working together for the first time on screen. That little shot right there, I was just like, oh my god, I feel like I'm 12. <laughs> it's awesome. Uh, that, that was the best part of the trailer for me. Fuck everything else. That moment, just the way it looked, how fun it felt, that was amazeballs. And I've seen them on screen together before, but just the fact that it's, you know it's the setting. We've reached this point now where we don't have to have the ensembles, the huge ensembles, and we don't have to have cameos, and we don't have to have... Uh, you know, Nick Fury, Samuel Jackson showing up at the end with the same exact formula. Robert Downey Jr., who makes a shit fucking bag load of money for every movie he does, also in this movie. And we can put all the other shit to the side for a little bit and just focus on, hey, what would it be like to watch Iron Man and Spider-Man react to each other for a whole movie? There's a little gray area in there, and that's where you operate. Oh, all right. That's not a hug. I'm just grabbing the door for you. All right, kid. Good luck out there. We've reached that point now, and it's really fucking rad. And with Ragnarok, I know that, that Hulk's supposed to be in it with Thor. It's like a buddy cop movie. This is the shit. This is what shit gets really good. And for those of you who are worried about it, and I'm worried about it, about superhero um, fatigue, this, this really has got to reinvigorate you a little bit. Because, yeah, fucking people are trying to make a buck doing Gotham without Batman in it or doing a show about Krypton without Superman in it. Next, we're going to have a Martian Manhunter's cousin show on CBS or CW or whatever. Like, everyone's just, like, cashing in, like, superhero, superhero, give me fucking anything with a cape and slap it on screen. And your superhero fatigue's a real thing. But when you're taking heavyweight characters like this and putting them in these movies, in these buddy cop kind of situations, in different characters' interactions... We really get to suck the best that there is out of comic books. So anyways, the rest of the trailer, they make a point that this is going to be Spider-Man in high school. And that's badass because, thank you, I mean, obviously we don't need to watch Uncle Ben die again. Jesus Christ, the guy's been through fucking enough already. We don't have to see the origin story all over again. They're going to give us bits and pieces so we feel like we started out with this Peter Parker. So he doesn't just feel like the Bond situation where he just shows up and it's a different dude in a suit. You get an origin story, but it's not an origin story. You get to feel Peter Parker starting out as Spider-Man without having to go through the, the, oh, this is what my powers are. And, and in my opinion, Sam Raimi crushed the origin story anyway. It should have never, ever been done again. But this was the smart move. And this this is Marvel versus fucking Sony. Sony decides to, to go the same route and go, oh, we ought to do generic origin story. Marvel knows what to do with their character. And that's the difference between the two, even though Sony is working on this. I don't love the way the fucking Michael Keaton's villain looks. Like, I, it seems like they're trying to go for that grounded reality, like, let's make it realistic. But, I mean, we just had Doctor Strange. We just had magic. I don't know why you feel the need to do that, and it just doesn't doesn't look that great to me. Forget the flying monster guy. They're but, Michael Keaton, as a villain, Michael Keaton's fucking heavyweight, man. He's one of the best. He's, he's one of the best there is out there in the world. And just the two lines he had in the trailer, I was like, fuck yeah, Michael Keaton, God. Damn it, Batman, 89, still the best. Really fucking excited for Michael Keaton in this. And just, I, you know, I know he's going to be in it. I heard he was going to be in it. Everybody knew he's cast it, but to see him actually speak as the character was pretty dope, even if I'm not psyched about the green bumblebee with the uh, lion tamer. I get that it's supposed to be that way, but I just, maybe it'll be cool. But they, they barely showed it, so I don't know. Tom Holland as Peter Parker. Seems like it's going to continue to be awesome. I like his friend. That dude seems cool. I like the whole high school vibe. And we're not, please just don't, can we not do the, 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 Flash Thompson fist fight again. His suit looks pretty darn cool. It's still clearly CGI, but it's got some cool shit to it. I love the way he acts as Spider-Man, where he catches those dudes robbing the bank as the Avengers. Spider-Man stopping bank robberies just fits with Spider-Man. 
I don't know. I don't know why, but it just seems like that's what Spider-Man should be doing. Stopping someone from driving down the road with a big fucking van full of, you know, cash. It just seems right. So I love what's going on there. I absolutely love everything between Robert Downey Jr. and Tom Holland. It's amazing. When he, and he gives him that awkward hug in the car. It's beautiful. I think this is going to be a great movie. I think this is going to be one of Marvel's better ones. I think just the... The fresh feel of, uh, of those two being together in this movie, the fresh new take on Spider-Man being in high school, I think it's going to be fucking huge. I think it's going to be relatable to absolutely everybody, and I think it could be Marvel's biggest yet when he set aside the original The Avengers. Um, I think this movie is going to do awesome. You know, we don't lick the crack of everything that Marvel does. I kind of think of less dirty analogies. But, you know, we don't kiss Marvel's ass on a constant basis. If there was something wrong with it, I'd say it, but this looks perfect to me. I see absolutely nothing wrong here, except for maybe Michael Keaton's villain suit. Um, yeah. Comment down below, let us know what your thoughts are on the trailer. Does this seem perfect to you? Can you find anything wrong with it? What can you find wrong with it? Tell me that. Give me something fucking bad about it. I love your fucking faces. If you're new to the channel, click that subscribe button and get some goddamn wham up in you.